Happy Monday, everybody. The Second Amendment right to keep and bear arms applies to local governments, too. Guns don't kill people. The government does. BMW owners and fire departments around the country trying to figure out how one of the most expensive cars in the market could catch fire after being parked and turned off. Dozens of people spontaneously combust each year. Showtime. Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. Greg Allman, the singer, musician, and songwriter who played an essential role in the invention of Southern rock has died at the age of 69. Allman passed away peacefully at his home in Savannah, Georgia, that from a statement on the singer's website Saturday. Greg struggled with many health issues over the past several years. During that time, Greg considered being on the road playing music with his brothers and solo band for his beloved family essential medicine for his soul. Playing music lifted him up and kept him going during the toughest of times. Rest in peace, Greg Allman. Netflix has canceled the London premieres of Orange is the New Black Season 5 and the Alison Brie wrestling comedy Glow in response to the Manchester attack. Both shows were to have special screenings tomorrow night. Universal Pictures called off its Mummy London premiere, while the Wonder Woman London premiere was also canceled. The Beatles just released a new six-disc 50th anniversary edition of Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. And newly remixed and remastered for what feels like the thousandth time. Finally, today, the release of the 50th anniversary six-disc set of Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. The Beatles like you've never heard them before, sort of. Featuring the remastered album that now sounds like this. With to be confused with the 2009 remastering that sounded like this. Totally different, and certainly not to be confused when they first released their songs on CD back in 1987. What? I can barely understand what they're singing, what? Rubbish, you need to get this new six disc set packed with extras. The time George dropped his pick. Oops. And the time someone plugged something in. Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, remastered from the remastered tapes of the master tapes of the original tapes. Available now, until next time. Donald Trump accidentally revealed the locations of two U.S. submarines to the president of the Philippines. I have to play this dumbass in Battleship. Meanwhile, Trump called the Manchester bombers losers. Yep, he's fighting terrorists the same way he fought Rosie O'Donnell. Pretty sure that doesn't work. It's come out that the new Republican health care bill will hike premiums by 700% for the old and sick. It's not a good sign that the title of the bill is Walk It Off, Grandpa. The Montana congressional candidate Greg Gianforte, who body slammed a Guardian reporter to the ground, got elected. Well, that should show him. The word is that White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer, who's a devout Catholic, is truly upset that President Trump refused to take him along to the Vatican to meet the Pope. Trump was confused. He accidentally took Melissa McCarthy. Organizers of an annual German heavy metal outdoor music festival are installing a literal beer pipeline through which will flow 105,000 gallons of beer. Bartenders will be able to draw six beers a second. The system is modeled after the one I have installed at my house. Taiwan has legalized same-sex marriage. Gay men marched, sang, and danced in the streets. Then they heard about the ruling. New medical study says the saliva of a parasitic Southeast Asian worm has been found to have healing properties for wounds. You know what? I'm just gonna rub some dirt on this and move on. I'm good, thanks. Ronnie Wood from the Rolling Stones had a lesion removed from his lung. He's expected to make a full recovery, after which he'll return to the band and continue wondering why the hell this crap never happens to Keith Richards. The NFL is set to relax touchdown celebration and dance penalties. What are these touchdown dances you speak of, friend? Asked the Cleveland Browns. Time for Nobody Gives a 
Tom Cruise confirmed Top Gun 2 will start filming next year. Not to say the cast is older, but the role of a young hotshot pilot will now be played by John McCain. Hey, Tom Cruise, nobody gives a f Critics are calling the Baywatch movie stupid, ridiculous, and a waste of time. So it pretty much captures the spirit of the TV show. Hey, lifeguards, nobody gives a f and the Season 7 trailer of Game of Thrones has arrived, and it looks like this season, Westeros is getting a Panera Bread. Hey, stupid TV shows. Nobody gives a f Thanks, everybody. We have a new episode of The Reynolds Report for you every weekday. Be sure to check out NSS Live starring Frank D'Angelo and his celebrity panel of guests, including the legendary Phil Esposito. Tuesdays and Thursdays, NSS Live.